Amen. How to, the title of my message, very short, how to have good success. How to have good success. Everybody say, how to have good success. Look at me. Success has always been defined in so many ways. Look at me. Every motivational speaker has tried to teach us to succeed in life. Every motivational speaker tried to define, explain, and they also teach us the way to succeed in life. And whenever they try to build the fundamentals to success, they talk about education. They talk about education. They talk about knowledge. They talk about background. They talk about wisdom. They talk about many things. And whatever they try to talk about, they talk about working hard, hard work. You know, and many, 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 many other things. I will say, many of you have read, you read a lot of books about success and you know much more than me. Praise God. And they try to inspire you to do this and to do that and to do that and to do this and you will succeed. Praise God. I believe in everything they talk about. When someone talk about education, I personally believe that before one succeed, he must be educated. I believe in education. Look at me, every one of you. I believe in education. Most of us that cannot speak good English that we are supposed to speak is lack of education. Praise God. Because we didn't have the opportunity to go to school. And you need to go to you to have a very good education. And I will encourage every one of you to try your best to educate your children. Praise God. Acquisition of knowledge and your bad. Try as much as possible to acquire knowledge. It will help your life. Make sure you work hard because there is no place for lazy person in this life of ours. Praise God. Go to school work hard. Make sure you are able to go through inside of you and to know your abilities and build your life on it. Each and every one carry something. Praise God. There is something you can do and you can do it better. Make sure say, you improve yourself Try to locate your ability. This is what I can do and do it more. These are all fundamental to success. And they are all good. But you see, I want us to talk about the major way. Because you see, I also realize that the more people become educated, the more we become corrupt in the system. I'm talking to somebody here. The more people, the more. With him, canina na, canina na. People that go to university are few. The corruption wasn't so powerful like this. That there are people that go to school to acquire knowledge and learn how to steal our money. I'm talking to somebody here. It's not everybody, but more we graduate people from our institution, our tertiary, the more people become corrupt. Praise God. So we are graduating corrupt people because you work hard, acquire knowledge, do this. Praise God. And most of the time, if you are not careful, eh, open, load a lot of jealousy in the inside of you. And life becomes competition that the more you acquire knowledge, the more you acquire wisdom, and you acquire that, and you become more better than somebody. Let me tell you something. God doesn't want you to succeed to compete with anybody in this life. You succeed, you succeed to fulfill 
God's purpose and his assignment for you to be a blessing to everyone that come into contact with you. That is the only reason for success. Let me tell you something. The reason why a lot of people have money. They are getting money every day. But the more they are getting money, the more they become jealous. Praise God. Let me tell you something. The major way, the major way, in fact, in fact, the Bible does not promise success. The Bible talks about good success. It go beyond education. It go beyond acquisition of knowledge. It go beyond becoming a politician. I'm talking to somebody here. It go beyond human connection. Praise God. God's own of success, God's definition of success, go beyond your human connection. Whom you know mantra, it go beyond that. Praise God. Because you see, in life, we are educated, but somebody is much educated than you. You've acquired knowledge. Someone is more knowledge, knowledgeable but, than you. Praise God. You know somebody, or be sure far better than you. Therefore, Eye nimdian kwa na eye school kwa na eye home you know kwa na eye semenye atuma papa aye kwa na it go beyond that then meet media to any mu say obi akowi asim school ni nara but they are programmed to fail Praise God. Obikura, Obikura, ne bachelor of degree. For seven years, eight years, ten years, they are not gotten job to do. So I believe in all these fundamentals, but let's rise up above this mediocrity because God can do better than education. You didn't hear what I said. See when opportunity I go to school. Man Kobe because me new be on family and That is all. Me new educated. Me new opportunity to go to school. I will go. But me new be on family and So I try as much as possible to educate myself. I read a lot of books every day. I read a lot. I study a lot to improve of my life. To become better in the future. So education is good. But you see, good success go beyond that. Praise God. Mameka Simitio. Abrabomu enije. Enyina nema ya mi bubo yesu. Abrabomu enije ne kese paano. Ejine radeso. If you don't know the main architect of your life and your destiny, you will go to school and the more you go to school, the more you become much frustrated. You will acquire knowledge and your knowledge itself can put you into the prison of this life. But when you locate God, when you know God and you have gotten him well, he will teach you the way to prosperity and the way to success. Lift your right hand, let me hear another say amen. Except the Lord build the house. Not accept the school. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Accept the law. Build your life, your career, your vision, your destiny. You may be getting a good job. That is not good success. You may be succeeding, but the reason why you are not fulfilled is that that is not good success. You see, whatever you are doing, and you still feel that there is a space, there is a vacuum in the inside of you, that you have gotten money, you are building house, you are going to school, but still you are not satisfied, it is because you have not located good success for your life. 
Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. John the Baptist was a successful. Three of us. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I know you will not. You will not. You may not be agree with me. But I'm not here to talk about what you agree. I'm here to argue with the word of God. And to make you to believe that life go beyond what the motivational people talk about. That, you see, they are all good, but they are minor ways. I'm talking about the major way to success. May God reprogram your life into success. Yes, you say. This is the word of Jesus. Or she, in Nipa, a man won Abbas, as you see now, nobody's greater than John the Baptist. Nobody's greater. He didn't build one church. But Jesus referred to him as a successful person because you know what? He was able to fulfill his mandate as just a voice. John the Baptist was just a trumpet that trumpeted the coming of the Messiah. And Jesus was looking at it as somebody that was able to make it in life. Being able to discover God's purpose for your life, your assignment, and to fulfill your assignment is what the Bible defined it as success. Discovery. Discovery of assignment. Discovery of your purpose, your purpose of being in this world. Okay? Being able to discover your assignment, your destiny, and not only discovery, but to fulfill, to make it happen, and do it as God requires you to do, that is success. When God said, this is the reason why I send you to this life, you discover it, you fulfill it, and by the time you are returning, you have a mark in this life. That is success. That is the kind of success I'm talking about. And may God give you grace to become what is ordained for you before the foundation of this world. John the Baptist came to this world as a trumpeter. Jesus said, among every woman that was in the days of John the Baptist, the greatest is John the Baptist. Praise God. He was just a voice. He was just a voice. Praise God. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord. The Lord. Is, you see, except God is in charge, absolute control over somebody's life, ordering yourself into your destination, you will never locate the way to success. I'm not talking about getting money and buying cars and building properties. I'm talking about God taking absolute control. Praise God. God being your foundation, your strongest pillar, your anchor, your backbone, his wisdom, knowledge, his obedience. Praise God. Humbling yourself under the arms of God and him leading your life, altering yourself. Whatever God is in charge of somebody's life, he leads him into the way of success. And I see God taking absolute control of your life, the beginning of this month into the end of the year. If you believe you are the one I'm talking about, rise up to your feet and shout amen three times. Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou Look at it. Look at it. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Somebody become president. People die before you become president. Praise God. And in their next terms, people died again. What kind of success? That people must die 
for you to reign. Most of our African leaders, eh, a lot of people, Laurent Babo, Babo was successful president. He lost an election and he still wants to continue to rule as a leader and thousands of people die. This is not the kind of sources that Bible talks about. Somebody must not die for you to get money into your pocket. I'm talking to somebody here. That this thing has Obi Konenima, you wish the person evil. You don't want to see anybody as if the destiny of the person is in your hand. You are not God. You don't determine the outcome of any human being in this life. You see, that is the way once one time you pray against somebody. The more you pray, the more the person succeeds. Amen. Preach it. The more you paint the person black, the more the person favored. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your destiny is not in the jealousy. The person's destiny is not in the jealousy you have, you have, you have, you have, you have built in the inside of you. His destiny or her destiny is in the hand of God. Amen. Give the Lord a mighty clap of him. Can I pray for somebody? Yes. May God give you grace to succeed in this Amen. life. In spite of the plans of the enemy against your life, I say, May God give you grace to succeed. Amen. Sit down. Sit down. David has never been trained to go to war, he has never been trained to kill giants physically. Look at me, David. Listen to me. David has never been trained to go to school to kill giant. Praise God. God was just in charge over his life. And God led him to kill the giant. The way to success is God. The fundamental of our success the pillars of our success is God. Amen. Amen. And there is somebody here without any human connection. Let me move to this side. There is somebody here Professor. without any human connection. Hey. May God grant you the grace Amen. to succeed in this life. Amen. chose a king. Nobody was there to speak on behalf of David. But grace accelerate him. Preach. Grace. Preach. Never fight them. Because the kind of grace they carry, you can't fight it. And I speak it to your life Prophecy. that you will carry this kind of grace. Amen. That nobody will be able to compete with you. Amen. No way, no way, no way. If you are the one, let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Somebody shout success three times. Success, success, success. God bless you, my daughter. Read it. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. The book of the law. The way to success. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Out of thy mouth. Continue, continue. continue. But thou shalt meditate therein. Meditate. Think about the word of God. Program your mind. Build your life upon the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. It should not depart out of your mouth. It must be built in your mind. Praise God. It must found a place in your mouth, in your soul, in your spirit, and you must be able to speak it as it is. Amen. You can only speak what is in your mind. 
if your mind is full of negativity, you speak neg negative words. But when your mind is filled with positivity, ah. you speak positive words. Amen. You can never rise up above the level of your mind. Mm. As a man thinking, praise God, Hallelujah. you are living your life based on the picture you have in your mind. That's how you live your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can never rise up above what is in your mind. You see, I need to add to you a negative. I need to add to you a negative. What do you need to corrupt? Your life is a corrupt. What do you need to add to you? Everything about you is dark. Even when you are very close to miracle and blessing, you can't take it. This book of the law of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Should not depart out of your mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein. Meditate therein. Day and night. Day and night. That thou may observe to do according to all that is written. You must be able to do. You can only do by what? Meditation. What does it mean to meditate? It's to think deep until you receive revelation that will brighten your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. What does it mean to meditate? It's to reason with God. Meditation, another definition of meditation is to think with God. It's to reason with God. Whenever you think with God, whenever you think with God, he gives you revelation and revelation brings transformation. Amen. Give God a magic clap of it. He said, do not be conformed to the world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you receive a brand new mind? By reprogramming God's word with your mind. And whenever you program God's word with your mind, you are on your way to success. You are on your way to blessing. You are on your way to healing. You are on your way to elevation. You are on your way to transformation. Shout yes. Yes. Fine in God and His Word. Can I tell you something? Preach. Both the literate and the illiterate have equal opportunity. Mm. Look, I don't have any certificate, but I am preaching the gospel. Yeah. Oh, let me ask: Am I not doing well? Really? Am I not doing well? You are doing well. Can't you boast of the fact that I'm a senior pastor? Me bumpa ema wa enye juma. At least me ma wunchile chilebi. Ema wunfa wa bra bonyi ne ye. Eh peja wa dube bi ana. Receive the grace. I receive it. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. In God. In God. Inside God. We all have equal opportunity. Put that down in your spirit. Please rethink that you are a child of God. Success is not only education. It is not only in human connection. But when you come to God. Platform is there for everyone to succeed. Amen. That whether you go to school ah. or not, ah. 
whether people like you or not, whether they favor you or not, whether they clap for you or not, you can also succeed in God. Jesus Christ. Inside Jesus Christ. Paul was uneducated. Peter, a fisherman. And in the fishing industry, they don't teach you how to walk on the sea. Ah, ah. Preach. In fact, they tell you that when you see the storm coming, mm. just build an anchor. And if the storm is powerful than your anchor, ah. leave it and run for your life. Ah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mama called university. You know, tell me any of your faculty that they taught you how to walk on the sea. Tell me. Tell me that when you come to church and because you speak good English, you think you can intimidate us. Speak your English. We will demonstrate God's power Amen. to prove to you Amen. that you can speak, but we also can demonstrate. Amen. Praise God. You just clap your two. Kaka. I don't say that ya dakata. Ye kadobaya. I kadobataya. I kalobataya. In school, if you are here and education didn't favor you. Education didn't favor you. And human connection didn't favor you. Find a place in Christ. Come on. Find a place in Christ. In Christ. We have faith yes. in Christ. We have the anointing yes. in Christ. We have the favor yes. in Christ. We have the knowledge yes. in Christ. We have the wisdom yes. in Christ. We all have equal opportunity. Amen. Can you please jump to your feet and shout out to God? Yes. Don't allow anybody to intimidate you. Don't allow anybody to intimidate you. I said, don't allow anybody to intimidate you with their certificate, with their eloquent, with their good English, with their background. You have a place in Christ and you will also succeed. I come to speak to somebody here that you will succeed. You will find a place. You will find a place among the stand. You will find a place. You will find a place. Son, yes. Son, yes. Son, yes. Give the Lord the matter. I was invited to a fellowship. And I didn't know at that time that they only speak English. And let me tell you, those days, even by me, I can't even speak. And when I go there, they say, the man is here. The preacher is here. And the man of God will try as much as possible to speak English. They give, him, they give me the microphone. Eh? And I started with worship. By the time uh, we were a fourth son, praise God, the first one, the second one, the third one, the, the power of God fell upon them. Not everybody on the ground. The pastor was on the ground. The wife was on the ground. The ushers tried to help the people. And when they touched the people, they also fell. Power. And I, and I told them, you invited me for anointing service. And the anointing is falling on you. Yes. I said, you invited me for anointing service. They said, yes. And the anointing is falling. Practicality. Practical is much important than theory. You see, you can write every message. I believe in writing. I believe, I personally believe that whenever I make statements, try to write something down. It is one thing to write. It is another thing to avail yourself. 
And God is much, much interested of availability. That's the reason why the Bible said that God is more closer to the broken hearted. That is the reason why every anointed person, whenever he got closer to people, he wants people that are longing for the anointing. That when we are singing, you are, you are behaving foolishness. When we are preaching, you are behaving foolishness. That when we are happy, you are. Every preacher will lay hands on you. That when you are standing like, I am above what he's talking about. I am above what he's preaching about. He will not come closer to you. Receive the grace. I receive it. It's because they miss the word with their heart. Like the way God told, like the way God told the porter. To, what's the name? Jeremiah to go to the house of the porter. Whenever the word of God is being taught, it comes like a water that comes to soften your life, that will reprogram your life. That whenever you make yourself available and the word of God imparted to your life, it changes your life. Amen. But when you close your heart, Praise God. Yeah. People come to church and I see what you are preaching, you are talking about them. They close their heart and you are arrogant and you are pride that they don't want God to minister to them. They are above the message. Yeah. And the same message changed somebody's life. Preaching. <laughs> Clap your two hands if your hands are yours. I will finish very soon. But I'm saying you may read it. We are talking about it. We must submit to be a shin in some. She wants some ye. Shinade. I'm giving you 24 hours. You will prosper. Amen. Professor. Tell that guy who just went out with the phone that what he's doing is not allowed. That he should stay out there and receive all the usual score before he enter. Professor, we still cry. Yeah, baby, 24 hours. May you prosper. Amen. May you come to the platform Amen. of prosperity. Amen. Platform ah. to discover your mission Amen. and to fulfill your mission. Serious. Auto flight, not the auto flight. When you mean 
or you're connected to this God I'm talking about. Your God. You didn't hear what I'm saying. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. That even, listen, even Range Rover you criticize. Range Rover, a car. Range Rover. Range. May God give you millions. Amen. You didn't hear what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. It has to do with your assignment. Your assignment may be little, and all you need is a car. There are a lot of people, you see, you see, you see. If more have been given to you, more is expecting from you. Yes. To him, more has been given. Much. There are some people there eh, in connection to destiny. Much has been given. No, no, no. I said in connection to destiny. There are a lot of people in this world. Much has been given unto them. That what you have and you think you have arrived, that is the stepping stone into the next stage of your life. May God enlarge your ability and capability. Amen. I, I say, may the Lord enlarge your ability. Amen. May the Lord enlarge your ability. Amen. May God enlarge your ability, Amen. your capability Amen. to do more, Amen. to prosper more Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me speak to somebody Prophecy. that in this land of the living, hey. a day will be coming. Ah. You will afford to buy aircraft. Amen. You will afford to buy aircraft. Amen. You are not in the house. I'm speaking to a gentleman here. Professor. A day will be coming. I'm speaking to a lady here. Professor. I said that day will be coming. Professor. You will also afford to buy an aircraft. Amen. To establish your bank. Amen. Your hospital. Amen. To help my car. To help my car. Amen. You will build the house of God. Amen. You will build the temple of God. Amen. You will be so rich. Amen. You will take a lot of people to school. Amen. Everybody that comes into contact with you, hey. you will clothe them with clothes. Amen. Lift your two hands. Ah. If you know you are the one I'm talking about, shout the yes. Shout the yes. Shout the yes. Shout the yes. Yes. Professor. If your level, if your level is only two bedroom self-contained. That's what God will give you. If your level is just ordinary car registered in 2016. Makoto Infinity. I am registered in 2016. I thought I have bought a car. And then Pastor Mavis and Kay. Pastor, will be the car and I'm saying, to I'm saying, to I'm saying, that we can't afford to let our senior pastor to use a car that somebody have been driving the car since 2016 out to 20. Pastor, was all toy? And every every day they will come to the office. Pastor, can't know the call. And now I have to lie to them. Oh yes, and tell them stories so that they will let me have my peace of mind. May God prophesy. Praise God. You see, you see, we have to understand the message of prosperity. It's in the word. Praise God. Abraham was rich in cattle. You know, be so. In gold, in silver. Praise God. Solomon had an encounter with God. God said, what should I do for you? He said, oh God, that that will grant me revelation, knowledge, wisdom for me to become a very good king over your people, a good leader. And God said, wow, wow. I will give you the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and everything, but I will, I will add unto you riches, ah, wealth, ah, prosperity, ah, and honor. Ah, professor. In connection to your gift, in connection to your anointing, I'm going to pray for somebody. I said, in connection to your anointing, I don't cut your In connection to your anointing, in connection to your anointing, 
prosperity have been added unto it. Amen. Prosperity have been added unto it. Amen. Grace to prosper. Amen. I say grace to prosper. Amen. You did it. I say grace to prosper. Amen. I say grace to prosper. Amen. Said yes. yes. your background, your education, your connection, it has to do with God. Praise God. When Peter found Jesus, had encounter with Jesus in the midst of frustration, frustration, praise God, he was given audacity to launch the net into the deep. He got many faces. He was astray. He became so, he was so loaded that he became so confused. And God said, no, this is just first level. That in the next few days, you become fishers of men. Professor, yeah. Hear me. Rare destiny, rare success are connected whenever we found a place in God. Amen. Professor. That's why the Bible said, deep quality unto deep. Deep quality. Deep revelation connect you to deep prosperity. Yeah, probably about my eye. See, ten thousand. Then over there, hey, and your sign signal of poverty. And therefore, we be a new one. We be a poor. We be a new one. What do we be? Hundred million cities. I have big amount of money. We be the cop. Osu, osu, one nighter. I don't. Or spend it with three girls. I don't. You don't know that you can't give that one to God. Am I? Preach. Me come and Praise God. Hallelujah. Obi Timi spending hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars to buy a mansion for girlfriend. You can't give it to Almighty God. And you think that one is bigger than God, and is bigger than the anointing upon your pastor? Yes. Can I preach at all, Professor? Then one day, your pastor appeared in the church with a nice suit. And the first thing that came into your mind is this is our offering. You know. It is a sign of poverty. It means you have been graduated from poverty into another level of poverty. My God. Ah. I know men of God. There are some men of God. When they are celebrating birthday, people dash them aircraft. If you don't know. People, you see, when you go to Nigeria, eh, minimum respect on the toilet. See, if you are not correct, I'm telling you, me who in conform with Nigerian, sir, the Kwakwebi feel umu abebe, abebe, obompa imaro. The real one, he said, man of God, you don't even. I was about, I said, give me oil. He said, man of God, I don't have oil. But he said, man of God. Even your presence in my house is okay. Just walk in the room and go. My God. My God. Yeah. I'm telling you. Maybe I'm not first hotel. I just walk in the guy's room. Three minutes. He said, man of God, thank you so much. Because of what you have done, I know what will happen. And I will also visit you in the church. One day, now me here waiting. And I'm back in car with her. And he came out of the car with an embryo. He said, man of God, since you came to my house. Ah. Since you enter my house, I have been moving from one step into another step. Into another step. Professor. Praise God. That when you are giving an envelope of three, that, that is 300 cities, you think you have paid the pastor's bill. I'm not saying I don't, I don't regard it though. But you come, I look, me you'll be everywhere you give me five cities. I appreciate it. But you can't buy the anointing. There's no amount of money in this world that can pay for the anointing I carry. It will be all the maximum respect 
Eto nyame ngu sira so biara. Nyame making a life better. Success has nothing to do with your background. Also, it has nothing to do with your age. It is just a saying. Life begins at 40. It's a saying. Don't wait till 40 years to start your life. Start it now. Life, you see, life. Life begins with God. A day you found God, life begins. My God. Don't wait for 40 years. I was ordained with Clerica at the age of 25 years. When I was ordained, I was 25 years old. I started ministry 22, 21 to 22 years. I was already in full time ministry. 25, I was ordained. I didn't wait. So I see me trained to 40 years. I can buy now. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is just a saying. Life begin at 40. So people are still waiting when they've got into 40 years. Praise God. Hallelujah. David killed Goliath at the age of 17. Joseph had a dream into the future. How many years? I think by 17 also. Praise God. Hosea became a king of Israel. At the age of 16 years. And Lawrence made his second coup at the age of 28 years. Yeah. Two of us. Yeah. Read it, read it, read it. Second Chronicle, chapter 26. Mary, 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 Mary. Baby, bomb pie, me be fumium. Namakatina may say, Baby, a year, dear Shibiara, or my name is show. Mamma, twenty four hours, you start building your house. Ah, amen. And anybody that wants to see, anybody who doesn't want to see you succeed in it, they will die and you will succeed. Amen. I don't like the way you are responding to me. I say anybody in your life ah. doesn't want you to succeed. Ah. I am building their coffin on the altar. Amen. Because whether they like it or not, Amen. in Christ you'll find your way to success. Amen. Say yes. yes. We are taking this church to another level. We can have our schools. We can have our hospitals. We can have our, a lot of. We, you see, we can build our own industry. That will support our workers. Amen. We are not just here to make fun, clapping, shouting, screaming, and go back the same. We want to find a way, a place. To be a jumadin, no bit to me and yan, or be cosco, no just obey to me and yan when you do my papa yap, or be the way you sure the life meet me are better. And more better. Amen. But that is the major way. That's the major way. Major way. Listen. Then all the people of Judah. Listen. Took Uzziah. They took Uzziah. Who was 16 years old. How many years? 16 years. How old are you? How many years? 16 years old. How old are you? 23 years. So, Uzziah, you were older than Uzziah. When Uzziah became a king, look at Ophir. Like somebody like Ophir. Then he became the senior pastor of this church. Can you imagine you come to this church one day and this is the man preaching. He just appeared and said, I'm the general overseer of this church. May grace locate you. Amen. In spite of your age, professor, and your background, professor. I'm praying for you. Your background, hey. I don't care who gave birth to you, ah. you will find a place in hey. Christ. Man. Professor, sit down, let's go. Then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, uh -huh. and made him king in 
the room of his father Amaziah. Where? He built Eloth. 16 years. 16 years. Started building. Yes. He I'm built. Over, I am over 40 years. Mm. And I must build a lot of temple for God. Yes. If I fail to do it now, it's a shame. Because 16 years has a mind to build. What are you talking about? May God be your wisdom. If at this time you are a member of this church and you are not dreaming big, you are a failure. Dream big. Have a sense of agency that every day in your life you must do something Amen. for yourself Amen. and for mankind Amen. and for your God. You see, you see, what is, what is, success, any age, huh? because with him, let me tell you something, you can be 50 years and still think like 10 years. With him, sir. No, no, no. What I'm talking about, it goes beyond calling you and telling you, saying, Obey you. Messi, you can be 50 years and still think like seven and a half years old. No, my boy, no. It's my boy, no. Okonya, Obeya, eight years this month. Medical that I bet you. And what Jimmy Fool. Say, what check a car? No, where what coffin was what check the kind of car. So one day, you may be and I'm in a few feet. I said, Young, quite young, let's go to the mountain. And you're going to go, go, more tall speed. And I'm saying, Why? I said, Climb the mountain with tall speed. And I said, I have already checked the car. It's one of the best cars. That even at the top of the mountain, it can be faster. Same as when you are driving without the mountain. So I tried it, and the top speed I wouldn't am familiar because when you are climbing the mountain, that is how you go. And I didn't know anything. Seven years, eight years. You see? Yeah. What that's what the Bible said. When you know the truth. In this life, ignorant is the biggest mountain. Not because nobody has never prophesied on you. It is because you don't know much of this life. That you can also be 10 years and think like will be all 25 years, 30 years, and 40 years. So your place in this life has nothing to do with your age. In penny four, see penny four. I can form penny four. How much is a bofra? A hun in Sahura on infinity. I didn't hear Nen Samuti or the Nen Satu or Penny every animal or Penny one in Sasa winning. But when you now and some will fear, will be an unity. It's a message. Oba no be a young sound. We say Christ. Say that. Messi, listen, listen, listen. When we are preaching, most of the time we try to talk about the future. Look at me. The future is not anywhere. The future is already inside of you. Amen. Don't wait for the future. The future is your mind. The future is the state of your mind, the state of your heart. Your sense of agency is your future. Amen. If you don't know, your sense of agency. Why do I do things like that? Sense of urgency. Why do I move like that? Why am I screaming? Why have never had opportunity to preach? Why am I screaming and shouting? Because I know, say, beer and net may be my last day. So my impact must be great. 
that when I fell down and died tomorrow morning, you remind me how I was able to preach well, screaming, shouting, making you to believe in my message, reprogramming your mind into the way of success. You always remember me for that. So I can't afford to do it anyhow. I have a sense of urgency. I always want to move in this mindset that when I am not in your midst, you will miss me. Even if you don't like me. If you like pray that I die, then you will know the relevant I was. But we now serve being called Sophobi or Sar Regi like me. Give me five. Receive grace. Maria. 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 He built Eloth and restored it to Judah. He did what? He built Eloth. And restored it to Judah. How many years? 16 years. Go ahead. After that, the king slept with his fathers. Go ahead. 16 years old was Uzziah. Then he repeated it again for you to understand. Or can kind of success. Then they mentioned the name. So that it can reprogram your mind. That even at your age, you can do something. was Uzziah when he began to reign. Come. And he reigned 50 and 2 years. 50 and 2 years. And 2 years in Jerusalem. Why? His mother's name also was Jecoliah. No. It means that even from at the age of 16 years he was successful. For him to reign for 50, 50 and 2 he was successful. He was a successful king. To reign 50, 2 years, 16 years. Look, look at the fundamental of the reason. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. According to 16 years, he did that which was right. So even at that tender age, he chose to do the right thing. Can I tell you something? The fruit you will bear in the future has to do with your personal choice of today. Amen. The choice. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You are not expecting the program, the last day program to go like this. May see, may see, your future, the fruit of the future Based on the choice, 16 years was doing what is right. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. According to all that. But in him, that in your own secret place, God look at it like this. That when you look at here, you look at here, look at that, look at here, and nobody's coming. Look at here. I know you cry for this. Yeah, I know. In the sight of the Lord. Of God. Okay. The remaining of us, eh, in the sight of our friend, in the sight of our, our friends, in Krofai, you power us, in Krofai, you show them, in Krofai, you respect them, yeah, 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 seems to look nice. People look at, somebody look at your face. Ah, obey Kamu. That is human reward. Shall phone so shall WhatsApp messages. 
she will test message. And the message people send to you. And you see, say when you're good now, be sure when you knock us, you good away. In your own corner, ask for forgiveness of sin. Because we claim something that you are not. I know you say amen. It's a message. Repentance. We don't like it. A clear one here for thinking that is how I behave as anti Vic. The way I behave. Menumti, <laughs> I'm a good husband. Very good. Is there other way around? Yes, hmm. Mr. Jai. Wabo karatida, wabo border, watu net border, watu mlika o park shuda. School no bo women football. Ya unonima, atuna kutubabi. Right in where we are. Tesa Pastor Fred. He was born in Nima. Reign in Nima. He was raised. O grow on Najo. The first job opportunity, Zoom Lion. Me, 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 Chelsea Central Defender. Look at this guy. Look, ah, what's the name? Antonio Rudiger. This is how he walk. See, look at Pastor Fred image. Pastor Fred look alike. Praise God. Anyone here? The warm war. Ashanti region. But some can imagine. But with him, with him, back to the sky. He did which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah Continue. did. No matter. The next. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah. He did what? He sought God. How many years? Sixteen years. He did what? He sought God. Listen, 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 listen. He did what? He sought God in the days of Zechariah, Where? who had understanding in the visions of Where? God. And as long as he sought the Lord, what? As long as he sought the Lord, how many years? 16 years. He saw God and he continued to serve the Lord. And as long as he, he continued to serve God, God made him to prosper. God did what? Made him to prosper. He did what? Made him to prosper. So the prosperity and the way of success has nothing to do with your background, your education, your good job. It's that to do with your services to God, your love for God, your place in the kingdom. Amen. Go make somebody that was 16 years, you can prosper. Ofe, you can prosper. Amen. Stella, you can prosper. Amen. You can still prosper. Amen. In spite of your background, 
your age, your educational background, find a place in God that lead to prosperity. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He led me beside the still waters. And then he restored my soul. And he led me where? In the path that leads to righteousness. For his name's sake. Yet though I walk to the valleys and the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. And you anoint my hair with oil. Come, run it over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. Consistency. Consistency. Being consistent and persistent. Okay? Makes a way for you. When you are consistent in the things of God, consistent faith, persistency, perseverance. He showed the Lord, and as he showed the Lord, it, it, you see, it had nothing to do with me. He showed the Lord, and he continued to serve the Lord 16 years. As long as so ah. receive your key to your future. I receive. Professor, receive your key. I receive it. Oh, let me pray for somebody here. Professor, the kind of record you will make, da, 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 da. nobody will be able to break the record. Amen. Nobody will be able to break the record. Amen. Nobody will be able to break the record. Amen. No way, no way. Lift your two and shout the loudest. Amen. Amen. Shout it again. Start it again. Amen. One more time. Amen. Professor. He sought the Lord. And as he sought, as, he saw, as long as he sought the Lord, the way to prosperity, to success, is your services to God. Amen. Your consistency. Amen. Perseverance. Together. And one thing for me to know you, and another thing for God to know you. And one thing for me to accept you, and one thing for for men to accept you, and another thing for God to accept you. When Cain and Abel brought their offering, everybody saw the offering, but in the acceptance, it is only God. You see, let me tell you something: live your life to please God. I can clap for you. Help him may reject you. Nobody has what it takes to pay you. I can only clap for you, but I don't have what it takes to pay you. It is only God that reward. Amen. The reward of your deed. Yeah. Give the Lord another clap. Yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish. Put your hands together for Jesus. Uh, 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 uh. Go to Joshua chapter 4 verse 14. Joshua 4 14. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Success. The way to success is that you must be connected. You must be fully connected to God. Are you there? Yes. Joshua chapter 4 verse 14. Where? On that day. Which day? That day. That's today. The way to success. That day, the Lord magnified Joshua in the sight of all Israel and they feared him. They did what? They feared him. The Lord did what? Magnified him. Who magnified him? The Lord. Men sing of your praises. Men. Are men that were singing of his praises? Praise God. Is it because he has human connection? No. But the Lord did what? Magnified Joshua 
in the sight of all Israel. And then and they feared him. The people fear him not because of certificate. No. He had the place ah. among the people, no. and everybody respected him. They love him. Yeah. They clap for him. Yeah. Why? Because God magnified. Because God magnified. He glorified based on your love, your services to God. Ah. Is that not the same Joshua that was giving Moses a help yeah. when Moses needed somebody? Yeah. Are there no Joshua? Is there no Joshua that help you? Yes. When you serve God, yes. when your time comes, ah. God will send help for to you. Amen. I pray for somebody. Professor. May God magnify you. Amen. I say, may God magnify you. Amen. And you want thing to be magnified by men. Hey. It is another thing to be magnified by God. Yes. I declare over your life. Professor. May God magnify you. Amen. As we end our program, I'm praying for a son here. Hey. I'm praying for a daughter here. I'm praying for somebody here. May you be glorified. No way, no way. I say, may you be glorified. I say, may you be glorified. May you be glorified. So, yes. One minute. Now, right now. Sit down. And the Lord magnified Joshua on that day in the sight of all Israel. Yeah. Stop pushing people. And you'll be sure in Tina also CD here. And you'll be favor. And Tina Amina favor. Do your homework well. Do the writing. Let's do as much as possible to kill our ego, pride, arrogance. Mina Yamidia. Mina Kefatame. Kill it. Prove your point in the sight of God. Prove your point. What are we are doing for God? Whether you are boy and summer, you see, you see, there are many of you eh, until we clap for you. Until me, some boy and some you will never be satisfied. For you to be magnified, there are times I won't clap, but God in his own way. Somebody just entered my office a few days ago. Took an envelope, 10,000 cities. Onto me. As Fred. Ask Fred, ask Fred, ask my daughter here. That sometimes I gave them the envelope to distribute the money. Nobody knows. That whenever I got money, I have somebody in mind. Give 1,000 to this one, give 5,000 to, give 3,000 to, give 2,000 to, give. You understand what I'm talking about? I do it secretly. And in God's own way. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Some of the people that think that the pastors are not being blessed. Somebody, somebody, somebody just sent me some message that a pastor has entered into um, some orphanage house and to present a near my equivalent to about two thousand or three thousand. And he was, he was the guy was sending it to me for me to learn. I called the guy. I said, "Are you sending to us, your pastor? You are, you are beautiful." And a bloody one. Big one and bloody one. Because you see, some of the things I am doing, eh, you have no idea. I said, some, some of the money people put into my market, eh, I add some to it and I dash it. I won't tell you. Yeah. I, I won't tell you. I'm a dangerous giver. Dangerous. I'm not playing my money, but I am a dangerous. I pay people school fees. I take a lot of people to school. You have no idea. You have no idea. You have no idea. Yeah. And in 2000, hello there. Everyone there. 
2000 in the next few days, you will begin to receive the reward. Sit down. The next thing is that you must be anointed. You must carry the Holy Spirit. You see, you must be, you must be favored. You must be magnified. The next thing is that you must carry the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God working in the life of a believer is like a magnet. What you carry is what you attract. What you carry? Daniel was ten times better in the land of Babylon. Daniel chapter says, read it, read it quick. Mami money for what do you buy? You flew back, you missing change. You be here, you may be sincere. Me see you back, Papa. You owe the testimony, baby. Me penny pam and come one thousand whatever. Who be poor about the dance, baby? And a time and a period that a real seal will share, even if your fellow human being must kill you, send your beggar no open no moja, and yes, they will do it. Even in the church on the platform, pastors are killing human beings to exchange power and fame. I'm telling you, there are pastors that drink blood every day. We know them. We know them. We know them. We know them. But you see, Adibi and Nipabinya are in Finyanko upon a temporal. Or Bonifan Tonche. I'm not going to. Yeah, me shower them. I will lay hands upon everybody here. And if I be the same man Professor. that God used to open doors, Professor. as I place my hands, Jesus. may you receive a prophecy. Amen. That will carry you into the way of success. Amen. Be, your enemy looks like you are not ready for that. Shout the loudest amen. amen. That a day will be coming. Professor. When I call for hundred thousand dollars. You can afford to pay. Amen. One million dollars. You will afford to pay. Amen. When I call for three million dollars. No way. No way. No way. You can afford to pay. Say I would be a can make a Amen. you to be the first. Amen. Somebody say the spirit. The spirit. Right. And over these three presidents right. of whom Daniel was first, first, that the princes might give accounts unto them right. and the king should have no damage. Right. Then this Daniel. Wait, wait. Take this your time. Daniel. Take your time. Take your time. Go. Then this Daniel. This Daniel. Was preferred. Was preferred. He was was preferred. What does he mean? To be chosen. He was number one choice. Then you, it's like a co-father winning a power. He need president or maybe a minister that all the ministers will make account. And he chose the leaders. And Daniel was number one. Number one. And and the co-father in the co-father government, he will go to Nigeria to bring somebody to become the leader of his government. Now he being a leader, or after the vice president, they say senior minister. Let me put it that way. Senior minister. Then a Nigerian. How can that be possible? In the, in the case of Daniel, it was possible. Yeah. But yeah, no, he was carried to Babylon as a slave. Yes. What does he say? 
Babylonians call Israel. They prevail. And I have found one by And then you should see that the, the, the one that came as a slave, mm. that came as a prisoner, mm. was preferred. My God. It is only in the kingdom of God. Daniel. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes. Okay. Because an excellent spirit was in him. What spirit? An excellent spirit was in him. What is the excellent spirit? The spirit, the of, spirit God. of God. So, when one carried the Holy Ghost in the inside of him, at the end of a chunk of 19, almost two of four to pay, almost two of four to almost painting of four black, almost two chunk of 19, they will just hide in the corner. My God, my God, and my what God. they carry ah. will connect them into the fever. Professor. Success. Yes. God gave them knowledge Pray. and skill skills in all learning in all learning and wisdom in wisdom and Daniel and Daniel had understanding yes what understanding because God gave it to him yes Pray. in all visions God. and dreams God. now at the end of the day Pray. that the king has said he should bring them in then the prince of the Enoch brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar because they have wisdom they have knowledge, yes. they have skill, yes. and the king said, You see, what you carry is like a master key that wherever you go, what you carry open doors for you. Stop fighting with people in the position and carry something. Amen. You must carry something. It has nothing to do with hard work. I believe in hard work. But it has to do with what you carry. What you carry is a master key. What you carry is a magnet. You will attract your kind. Because do I look like one? Look at the way I walk. Then you know. Stop looking at me like that. Receive the grace. Even. 